Hey everyone, so I was browsing Amazon and just looking at different action figures and I came across these things called Eldrador Creatures by Schlick Toys and I thought, hey, these look like cool looking monster figures to battle against my Godzilla vs. Kong figures and these two stood out as the coolest looking ones to me and this guy is called Lava Scorpion and this one is called Lava Golem. And once again, I got them both from Amazon. Lava Scorpion was like around $19, um, but I noticed the price on him usually changes a lot. So I don't know, depending what time of the day you're looking at these figures, he might be cheaper or he might be a little bit higher. Lava Golem was like around $10, I believe. And he's the only one that came in an actual like packaged box here. Lava Scorpion, he only came in this plastic tray and a clear plastic bag, <laughs> no box. Um, and they have different types of these creatures, like they have ice type creatures, forest type, water type, and they have more lava type creatures as well. But I just wanted to get these two for now to see how well they stack up with the Godzilla vs. Kong toys from Playmates Toys. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's open them up and take a closer look at them. All right, so now we have Lava Scorpion and Lava Golem open up, and I almost burst out laughing when I was messing around with the articulation on Lava Golem because uh, he has only like two points of articulation, and um, that's for both of his arms, so that arm can move, that, mar that arm can move, and that's it. That's the only articulation this guy has, so he's just pretty much a... Uh, I guess a stationary figurine, but he does look cool. I mean, check out the designs on his back and everything. He looks wicked. And just something about orange and black colors just really uh, stands out on a figure. It makes it just looks awesome, I guess. But yeah, that's the only points of articulation. So you cannot move his legs, no uh, head articulation, no waist or nothing. That's it. But he does have his axe here, which you can remove that from his hands. And got to be careful because it's a tight squeeze. So I guess I could show you his lava axe there. There you go. And uh, I'm going to see if Kong could hold this axe in a minute. But let's take a look at Lava Scorpion. Now, Lava Scorpion... Um, I notice he has about four points of articulation, so he has one for each pincer, uh, pincers, yeah, right, okay, so those can move like that, and please excuse my camera for going in and out of focus, just trying to focus on so many things here, but, oh, that popped off, please tell me that didn't break, oh no, no, just joking. Uh, it did not break any ways. It's just like sort of like on a ball joint, so that could just pop back in place uh, very easily. Yeah, there you go. Good as new. So yeah, if those just pop off, they could just pop back into place quite easily. Very smart that they did that. But there's a close-up of Lava Scorpion's face there. There's the underside of him. And the other two points of articulation he has is for the tail. He has one right there, and it can go back about that far, and it can go forward about that far. And the other point of articulation in his tail is by his stinger. So right there, you can rotate that. Once again, my camera is going out of focus. There we go. Okay, so yeah, you could kind of just move that around. You could even turn that around if you want. And let's see if Kong could hold the lava axe. All right, so let's remove his battle axe that he got from Hollow Earth. All right, now let's take the lava axe from the lava golem and try to squeeze that in Kong's hand. And oh yeah, totally, he could totally hold that, cool. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. Okay, so, yeah, it's very loose-fitted in Kong's hand. 
Once again, my camera does not want to focus. Jeez, I gotta search for a new camera for these reviews, guys. Uh, anyways, um, well, you can make Kong hold it, but it's very loose fitted. Like, it's just, yeah, look at that. So you can't really get a good grip on the lava axe, but it does look cool in his hands. Sort of. <laughs> if he could just get, you know, gotta mess around with the positioning and the posing, I suppose. Yeah, lava golems like, hey, give me back my axe. Rawr, I want my axe back. Yeah, I want my axe back. <laughs> wow, look, lava golem. I thought he would be the same height as Kong. Because when you see some of the pictures online on uh, Amazon, when I was ordering him, he looks like he was like around five to six inches. But no, lava golem appears to be around four to four and a half inches tall. I mean, he's a short figure and uh, very limited articulation. So that's kind of a bummer. So, yeah, this guy does not stack up well with the Godzilla vs. Kong toys. Uh, the Godzilla vs. Kong figures are so much bigger. I mean, look at that. That's almost a shame. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, these monster figures from Schlick are intended for kids, I guess. Um, so they're not going to really mind the size of the figure. Oh, by the way, he also has a open grip hand on the other arm as well, so you could make him hold the axe in that hand as well. All right. So yeah, super small lava golem. That's, mm. I mean, eh, I don't mind that I bought him because it's still a cool looking figure. It's just, man, he is small. <laughs> All right, so let's, Give Kong back his battle axe there. There we go. You are the king once again, Kong. And let's take a look at the Lava Scorpion, see how well he stacks up against the Godzilla versus Kong figures. Sorry for all the scraping noises you're hearing on the table. It's from these tags, I think. Yeah, so let me just kind of move the tags out the way. There we go. Or maybe it's from his feet. Yeah, it's from his feet a little bit. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, the Lava Scorpion sort of matches up well. I mean, you could have him battle Godzilla and Kong with his uh, pincers there. You can match him up, let's see, maybe against the Skull Crawler. Since both of these monsters do crawl on the ground. So look at that. Skullcrawler has found another worthy foe, and it is the Lava Scorpion. Oh no, who's gonna win? Maybe Lava Scorpion, because he have a sick lava stinger tail thingy. <laughs> yeah, you can sting like um, Skullcrawler in the back, and then, ah, oh no, reveals battle damage, ah. Let's get Warbat in here with uh, Mecha Godzilla. See how well Lava Scorpion stacks up with them. Um, hmm. It looks like Lava Scorpion's kind of bigger than Warbat, but uh, pretty sure you can still get some fun playability options. Like you can make Lava Scorpion choke out Warbat like that. If I could get my camera to focus, please, camera. There we go. Thank you, camera. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like ah, ah, get off me, ah. Oh, Warbat is defeated. But here comes Mecha G. Oh no. Ah, he just tipped Lava Scorpion over because, well, Mecha G is. He's a uh, Titan not to be messed with. Yes. But wait, Lava Scorpion's getting back up. Oh, jumping on Mecha G's back and knocks him over. So yeah, this is. Uh, I would say Lava Scorpion is the most enjoyable one to. Uh, battle your Godzilla vs. Kong figures. So, unfortunately, Lava Golem here is too small to battle the 6-inch Godzilla vs. Kong figures, but the thing is, he still looks really neat, and maybe you could put him with other 4-inch figures, like if you have any of the 4-inch uh, DC or Marvel figures, maybe you could put him with those if you need like a cool looking monster character for them to fight definitely go with the lava golem for lava scorpion here i would say even though he only has like four points of articulation 
you can still get some fun playability options out of this guy to battle your six inch Godzilla vs. Kong figures or maybe any other monster figures you might own that has nothing to do with Godzilla vs. Kong. But uh, I do think he looks cool and he does matches up quite well with the rest of the Godzilla vs. Kong figures so he is the winner. Lava Golem here, well, sorry Lava Golem but you're too small to play with these guys so you're gonna have to just I don't know, you're gonna have to go with my DC or Marvel figures. I'll figure out something. I'll figure out something for you, Lava Golem. Bye! And I'm not sure if I pointed this out when I was going over the articulation for Lava Scorpion, but uh, for this part on the tail, yeah, you can completely turn that around and, I guess, make him sting whoever is behind him. So, yeah, I figured I'd mention that now since I don't know if I went over that part earlier my bad but anyways thanks for watching this uh, bonus review for April uh, I don't think I have any more reviews planned just a end of the month toy haul which shouldn't be much because my stores are looking real sad <laughs> that's why I've just been losing all passion to go on any further toy hunts but um I did find a few new stuff at Target recently that you'll see and I got some stuff in the mail so I might have that video up either by next week or the week after. It'll be soon. Uh, all right. So happy collecting, everyone. And um, I will see you in the next video. Later.